updating real property reports in Alberta. You don't want to have to do it if you don't have to. So first of all, keep them somewhere safe. You've got to remember to do that because ounce for ounce, it's more costly to replace that real property report than to replace gold. Um, if you have a real property report, when do you have to update it? Basically, it's if there's structural changes on the outside of the property. New fence, new decks, new garage, new structures of any kind. Now, if you have an existing fence and you replace it, you don't have to get a new real property report as long as the fence is on the same line as it was before. If you have a little shed you've added and it's smaller than 10 by 10, less than 100 square feet, then it doesn't necessarily have to be added on. But if you put siding on it and now it's bigger than the allotted uh, amount by the survey companies, then you have to replace your real property report. Getting an update can cost you $450, $500, and getting the stamp of compliance from the city or the municipality can be another $150. So if you're going to make changes, think about it if it's something that's going to be long-term or short-term before you sell a home, and find out. Ask your lawyer, do I have to update my real property report in this circumstance? That's another Kahane Law Legal Minute. Thank you for watching, and don't forget, Share this video, like this video, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.